Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW Woodworks. You know, I'm here in the uh, studio today. I'm actually at my desk doing some work on a new project. And my philosophy is always that no matter what it takes, you have to be creative. You have to make something. I have this great desire to, to be creative, to be artistic. So woodworking is a natural progression for me. That's why I really initially got into woodworking was to be creative, to make some cool things for the house. And that creative side has actually um, spawned itself into a lot of different things like my vital cutter, my Cricut, or uh, just doing large format printing. I like to do origami. As you see, I do some drawing as well. Um, and so any way that I can be creative is always a good step forward. But there's that cross between wants and needs. Now there's certain tools in the shop that you just need. There's certain tools in the shop you just want. Now with that being said, it was a long process and it took me about a year of researching, but I finally got it. I finally ended up deciding to pull the trigger on getting a 3D printer for the house. And well, let me show you some of the research I did online with that. So ultimately, you know, actually doing some Google searches on their top best-selling 2016 printers, uh, you know, I found the one that I was really interested in. I think it was ranked around six or seven here, and that was the Flash Forge uh, Creator Pro. Uh, then the next thing I did is, of course, I watched tons of YouTube videos over the last six or seven months of just all the different setup and how to use it and the reviews it gets. And then ultimately, the, really the way I got to decide to make the decision on what I bought is the Amazon. I mean, how can you, you know, by far it's got the most sales. It's got, what, four and a half stars out of, uh, out of five. And uh, it's just that Flash Forge Creator Pro seems to be the way to go. Now, I could have ordered it right from the manufacturer. I got it because I wanted it quickly. I ordered it on, uh, on Amazon and got it here in two days. And let's see, when will it get here? All right, man, she's here. My 3D printer. I've been waiting and researching it. It took me a year to finally pick which one I wanted. And she's finally here. I am looking forward to my Flash Forge Creator Pro. Just got to do a little, uh, little assembly and uh, find a good place for it. And yes, 3D printing in the house. Now that's the future. And just for giggles, it's about 46 pounds for the weight of the box. So I'm going to save you all of the unpacking and um, opening box videos. Box opening videos I don't watch, so I don't really want to make one. But I figured I'd set it up and show you the basics of where I put it and the size of it. And uh, getting right into to trying to get it all built and put together, which ultimately took me maybe about an hour, hour and a half to get it all ready to go. And here you can see me installing the dual head extruder and uh, getting it all positioned as well as the uh, top to keep the chamber gets nice and warm these are the tubes that run the filament and there it is all set up and ready to go and uh, the bed is a heated bed so as you're uh, ready to print it actually will show you right there on the front of it what the temperature is uh, for the extruder and for the uh, the bed and here's a print in action here. This is just a little traffic cone that I did as a test for two different colors. And it takes two different colored filaments and there it is in progress. All right, and there it is all complete. And here's a quick uh, 200 speed video of printing um, another device here, which was a finger spinner, but I'll get more into that later. This is not a 3D printing channel, so I won't get really too involved with that. So again, this is the Flash Forge Creator Pro, and I gotta tell you, there's probably gonna be hours and hours of videos you can watch on YouTube about 3D printing, how to set them up, how to select them. So definitely not a 3D printer channel. I'm gonna just simply do a little show and tell of what I got to be creative. I just got done making these clamps here. These are little clips used to hold down the glass bed because I'm upgrading it to a glass bed. But anyways, I just figured I'd show a little tell, tell you what I was up to, and um, you have yourself a great day. If you have any questions, you know, post them down below. But this is Chris from TDW Woodwork, and uh, I'll see you on the flip side, and don't forget to get that woodworking in 3D. 3D.